I wander around here like I'm lost sometimes, you know, because it feels so good to be here. Terry Moore's basement is his favorite spot. They're all Marines in there. Filled with everything related to the Marines. When I see something new or whatever, I'll, put, I'll add to it. Coffee mugs, medals, statues, flags. This is in memory of all the Marines that were killed in Vietnam. And you can't forget the fish tanks. This is my hobby. This is what keeps me at peace. It's a place where he escapes from his troubles. But for Terry, once a Marine, always a Marine. I'm not a hero, but I did my time. I did my duty. I'm proud. I'm very proud to be a Marine. Nobody can ever take that title away from me, ever. Enlisting in 1968, Terry was sent to Vietnam right after boot camp. And I was with the 3rd Battalion, 4th Marines, 3rd Marine Division, Mike Company, 3rd Platoon, 3rd Squad. A grunt with the infantry who was involved with night patrols and many fights. Every day was a, a battle, practically every day. Responsible for taking out the enemy by any means necessary. And I was up on the DMZ the whole time. From hill to hill to push to push, get them off the hill, push them back into the DMZ. Terry recalls one battle in particular at a hill known as LZ Sierra. And as we were going up the hill, we were getting shot at, uh, grenades were thrown at us, and it took most of the day to take the hill. But it did not get any easier as he had to recover those who did not make it. As we brought the dead back up, a chopper came in. 46 helicopter landed down below the hill in the valley. Got to the bottom, all of a sudden we got hit with mortars and then mortars and more mortars. The chopper took off and things just got worse and deadlier from there. By three o'clock in the morning, all hell broke loose. They came up in waves. Boom, I got hit. I got hit with a Chicon grenade. I got hit in the legs and the stomach and blew out my eardrums. They decided they're gonna land a 46 chopper on top of the hill to take out us wounded. As we got to the chopper, they hit it with an RPG rocket. And they blew the chopper off the side of the hill. The blades were going around. I could see the dirt flying. I could see the dirt flying yet today. Only the pilot survived. Terry was eventually evacuated and spent months recovering until he was released. He earned the Purple Heart for his injuries, among other medals, and worked hard for nearly 50 years at a paper mill to get the war off his mind. I retired five years ago. I'm still in Vietnam. I never get out of Vietnam. It seems like it never goes away. I go to group sessions. I take medication. But it still, it still does not go away. But the basement is the one spot he can get away from the memories of the war. And with the things he's seen and been through, he's just lucky to be here today. But the greatest thing is I made it home. I survived. And that's what I'm doing today, still surviving. In Green Bay, Nate Stewart, Local 5 News.